Welcome to One Lecture Online. What's interesting about this integral is the actual result. So stay with me and see what that will become. So we have the integral of a to the x times the natural log of a times dx. And since the natural log of a is a constant, we can move that outside the integral sign. So this becomes the natural log of a times the integral of a to the x dx. And notice carefully, it's not e to the x, it's a to the x. So we have to use our little trick again. So this becomes equal to the natural log of a times the integral of e to the x times the natural log of a dx. Now this we know how to integrate because we know we have e to the x times a constant, so the constant comes down here. So this becomes equal to the natural log of a divided by this constant here, which is the natural log of a times e to the x times the natural log of a plus a constant of integration, like so. And then this part can then be rewritten back to the, the format of a to the x. So this is equal to the natural log of a divided by the natural log of a times a to the x plus a constant. Of course, this simplifies and we simply get a to the x plus a constant. And so you see that's a very simple result from this initial integral. And that's how it's done.